Welcome back to New Day Northwest. You know, old age and creaking pipes catch up with all of us eventually. And that time is now for parts of the Pacific Science Center. Officials are considering swapping out one of its iconic 1962 reflection pools and replacing it with a meadow. Historian Felix Bunnell has lots of feelings when it comes to changing this historic landmark. And I gotta say, I do too. I, I love the Pacific Science Center and all of its glory. Let's talk history though. The reflecting pool was built for the World's Fair, right? Yeah, the Science Center is sort of the heart and soul of the fair. The mm -hmm. federal government pledged $12 million to build it in the late 1950s. Okay. At that point, the fair was kind of a, not a sure thing. And for the federal government to step up meant that like, okay, it's really gonna happen. Yeah. The feds are in, we're gonna build this United States Science Pavilion. They got an architect named Minoru Yamasaki to design it. Mm -hmm. So it has these beautiful reflecting pools, those arches. It's a combination of the past and the future and the present. It's all sort of mixed together. It's I can't so think, I, I asked someone, I've asked myself, what other spot in Seattle is as beautiful, is it as intentionally beautiful and well-designed and still kind of doing its job 60 years later? Yeah. I can't think of anything I, other, than, other than King TV. Obviously. <laughs> um, no, but honestly, I could not agree with you. I watched the eclipse there the solar yeah. eclipse that we had a few years back, and it was a magical experience looking through the towers, and it was just gorgeous. Yeah. So let's talk about the iconic petal fountains and those arches. What is happening with those? What is the problem? Well, if you have an old house or any kind of old building, you know mm -hmm. that if it's 60 years old yeah. and it has the original plumbing, it's going to have problems. So right? the, the pipes there, the pumps, the actual pools themselves, they're leaking or evaporating something like 76,000 gallons of water a day, yeah. which adds up to 26 million gallons a year. And the Science Center is currently paying um, regular prices to refill it with City of Seattle tap water. Oh, and let me tell you, <laughs> that's like a million dollars. I don't know it's, what it's, City of Seattle does with their tap water, but they're gonna charge you for it. It's about $175,000. So the Science Center is taking the opportunity to, to, they need to raise something like $17 million to just do the basic repairs to, the, to those two pools. There's two pools, there. there's one at the front, one at the back, right, kind of yeah. perpendicular to each other. And so they had the idea because they think it's gonna be tough to raise $17 million to do kind of some basic maintenance, deferred maintenance essentially. Okay, okay. Um, they thought if we add some kind of level of sort of pizzazz to it, we'll convert one of those pools to some kind of a meadow space. Uh, and, you know, it's a landmark, so the City Landmarks Preservation Board has to weigh in on anything that... Yeah. Any, and so the Science Center made a presentation in February. Okay. They'll come back in a few months. But they have these three different options, the cheapest of which is $17 million to do the basic repair. Okay, so basic repair is yeah. cheapest. Yeah, so because, why are we talking about these other things now? Because it's not sexy enough to raise money for. Because oh, people have to write a check. That's what they say. I disagree. Okay. I think if you if you described it as preserving this incredibly sacrosanct public space that's yes. been doing its job for 60 years and that's gorgeous and it's designed by this incredible architect, yes. Minoru Yamasaki. Seattle born. Japanese American. Japanese -American. Seattle born faced a lot mm -hmm. of discrimination here in the 30s and actually went on to design the World Trade Center. Have this you heard, is have you a heard? historic landmark. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, we've got three options. Minor repairs, significant changes, and then what is option three? It's major changes, it's, do not even. Yeah, it's getting rid of that pool entirely and turning it into a meadow. <laughs> <laughs> no. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, I, it's, a weird, it's a bigger conversation about what landmarks are because yeah. the decisions we make now about what we keep, what we change, that shapes the future we're all gonna live in. Yeah, I think really you does. have to be smart about the things you keep and carry forward, especially something that is, has so many significant connections. Monroe Yamasaki, the World's Fair, the mm -hmm. heart and soul of that science fair, 1962, all about Century 21. Here we are in Century 21. Let's Look honor that spirit, let's keep it going. Yeah, Monroe Yamasaki. On the you know, cover of time. And you can see the DNA of the Science Center in the design of the World Trade Center. Those little shapes of the, those gothics, they call yeah. them space age gothic, the shapes of the arches. So it's, it's all tied DNA. together. Exactly, and it's a, he's a Seattle born guy. And people don't understand the, 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 the little details. And, and there is a bigger conversation about what some landmarks that should come down. Wait, you know? what? No. Yeah, no, I mean, no, there are certain <laughs> things when we talk about statues, but this is one of those things that represents all the good, in my opinion. And clearly, I am sharing my opinion on this one <laughs> because it really truly does represent all the good, and it is so unique. You don't see something like that anymore. Yeah. All right. So you said that it's not sexy to raise $17 million leaving that's it as it is. That's what the Science Center says. I don't think okay. that's true. So yeah. We're, we're going to help you, Science Center. Um, <laughs> so what are the pros and cons of these other options? 
I don't see a lot of pros to the other options. Okay. I, I think the main option is it's we all everyone agrees, most people agree that that is a sacrosanct space for all the reasons we've talked about. The architect, the beauty, I, the fact there's no other space that's open to the public like that that has all those combinations of past, present, okay. and future. There's there's no other option in my mind, my opinion, of course. Spend the money to restore it to the way it should be. Replace How? those pipes. Fix the leak. Find some way to incorporate rainwater into the system, which we they can, talked about we for can the other do options. That in the yeah, future. it's science. So what <laughs> can we do to help? Because I know the Science Center, and I know every, they're, they're wonderful. They, they mean well. Love them. Yes. They mean well. Yeah. They're just trying yeah. to do their best. So what can we do as citizens to help? Well, keep your eye out for the next time the Landmarks Board gets together to hear the next version of the proposal and okay. state your opinion. There are a few people got up, and it was a like a remote meeting of last okay. in February, and people said why. They supported preserving the pools the way they are. All right. We did some goofy polls on Twitter and Facebook, and about 70% of the people, non scientifically, said they supported preserving the original pools. It is so beautiful. So. I went to an IMAX show the other day, yeah. and my kids, they were like, This is so cool. I feel like I'm really a part of the water and the reflection, yeah. and there's nothing. It just, it's so beautiful yeah. and special. I've been there at every age. I've taken my daughter there at almost every age. It's like this, it's multi-generational as it is. You can yeah. fix it, restore it, restore it to its original beauty, but don't alter it in like that way. I mean, let's let's preserve the best I'm with you. I am with you. I am 1,000 percent. easy sell. <laughs> I, I'm an easy sell. I hope you all are too. We'll keep you updated on this for sure. Thank you, Felix, so Thank much. You. Get a, a historian and a nostalgist here. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. All right, coming up next, we've